Hey everybody, Jack Rita here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a custom expansion that I have made for Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. Uh, I'm a big fan of all the Pandemic games and I've made a lot of custom expansions and variants for Pandemic, but I also happen to really like Lovecraftian horror. So this was a natural uh, get for me. Uh, and I've created a custom expansion for it that I call the Denizens of Lovecraft Country. It comes with a set of cards that are all characters from Lovecraftian lore uh, and some corresponding tokens. So the Herbert West card and the matching token. And the way it works is during setup, you're going to draw the seven cards from the summoning deck to set up the board. And you're going to add seven random tokens and put them in those same locations. And those are your denizens. Now the denizens can either be discovered or revealed. They are discovered by the players, but they are revealed by the forces of evil. And each card has two different effects. It's got a discovered effect and a revealed effect. So you want to, as the players, discover these tokens because the discover effects are all pretty much good, but the revealed effects are all definitely bad. So. The, to discover a token, you have to be in the location with the denizen token, and you have to spend a town card matching it, and then you get to discover the card, you reveal the token, you find the corresponding card, and you do its discover effect. Um, for the forces of evil, if a third cultist is added to a location that has a denizen token, or if a shogoth is added to that location, you will reveal the token, removing it from the board, and the card is found and you use the revealed effect. And the token is going to be removed whether it's discovered or revealed. So they are all one-time effects on there. Um, but like I said, it's in your best interest to discover them if you can. So that's it's a very simple expansion and I'm going to go through what the different characters are and what their effects are. But it's, uh, it's easy to add in uh, and it, it adds a little more tension and variety to the game. Plus uh, some extra Lovecraftian flavor, which I think is always nice. So let's start with Herbert West. So if you discover Herbert West, then you can draw any card from the player discard pile, which, which is nice. However, if he's revealed, then as a group, players must discard two cards from one town or any three cards. So that is pretty harsh. Uh, next, we have Professor Armitage. So if you discover him, then draw any card from the player discard pile or remove any card from the summoning discard pile. So that uh, could be very handy depending on what's going on in the game. But if Professor Armitage is revealed, uh, the active player's turn ends and the next player gets one fewer action. So um, definitely not something that you would want to happen. Now I have uh, Kazaya Mason, uh, lives in the, uh, the witch house. Uh, if discovered, you're gonna roll this sanity die. Uh, but then you may draw a card from the player deck. Uh, if he's revealed, you still roll the sanity die, but the active player must discard a card. So not terrible, but uh, but could be pretty terrible. It <laughs> just depends. Uh, Wilbur Waitley. If discovered, move the closest Shoggoth one space of your choice. So you could drive it away, get it somewhere where it's going to do less harm. But if revealed, all Shoggoths move one space toward this token. Uh, so, yikes, look out. Captain Obed Marsh, if discovered, you regain a sanity. And if revealed, the active player loses a sanity. Uh, we have Crawford Tillingast. And if you discover him, you look at the next two summoning cards. So that could be useful. If revealed, you shuffle the summoning discard pile and place the cards on top of the summoning deck. So that will escalate things for sure. Zadok Allen, uh, if discovered, you look at the next three cards in the player deck, uh, but if revealed, no effect. So Zadok, pretty harmless. Uh, Charles Dexter Ward, there in his urn. Uh, if discovered, you may exchange a roll for an unused roll of your choice. So if you understand the, uh, the, if you know the case of Charles Dexter Ward, that will make sense for you. But if you reveal, if he's revealed by the forces of evil, the active player goes insane. So, whoops. Inspector Lagrasse, if discovered, remove any two cultists in this town. That can be very handy. And if revealed, though, you're going to add one cultist to every location in this town that has no cultists. So look out. And then finally, we have Nihilat Hotep. If you discover him, you're going to roll the sanity die, but you look at the next unrevealed old one card. So some information. But if you reveal the, you add a cultist to this location. So 
there you have it. That's it. It's a pretty straightforward expansion. I, I, I like it. I like the Lovecraftian flavor that it adds. Um, and it's it's real easy to understand. And um, yeah, it adds a little bit extra to a game that's pretty decent. Um, but, you know, it's pandemic with cultists. So not a whole lot different. Um, and in some ways, maybe even less thematic overall than pandemic. Um, although I do like all the little miniatures. So that's it for Brain of Cthulhu. If you've ever made a variant for this, be sure to let me know because I'm always interested in looking at ways of jazzing up the games that I play and, uh, and like, and this is one of them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.